This is chapter 12, the fastest runner in fourth grade. If we're going to have a race, I said, we need to have some more runners. Like who, Darren said. Caitlin's the fastest and so is Hector. Caitlin's out sick today, Darren announced. Who's Hector? I pointed at the new kid and everyone turned to look at him. We don't need him, said Darren. This race is between you and me. Come on, Charlie, said Tommy. I know you can beat him. I told everyone you were going to race. Okay, I said, one race, but Hector races too. All right, here's the starting line, Tommy announced, setting down two rocks. You stand here and I'll run down to the finish line. I took my place between the two starting line rocks and so did Darren. Hector was just watching, not saying anything. Come on, I called, waving my arm for him to join us. He hesitated and then walked over slowly. I made room for him between Darren and me. Hector took off his glasses and put them in his pocket. I don't see why he's going to race too, grumbled Darren. We're faster. I ignored him. A few kids had stopped what they were doing to see what was going on. Now starting the race of the century, Tommy yelled in his sports announcer voice. He was standing at the far end of the blacktop. The championship race for the fastest runner in the fourth grade. More kids had gathered to watch. The three of us bent over, getting ready to take off. We were so close to each other that our elbows were touching. On your mark, get set, go, Tommy shouted. We took off. I ran as hard as I could, pumping my arms up and down, trying to go even faster. Some kids were cheering for Darren. Some were cheering for me. No one was cheering for Hector. We were running neck and neck. When I looked, I could see that Darren was trying to slow Hector down by holding out his arm. I kept running as fast as I could, trying to keep up. When we finished, when we reached the finish line, I couldn't tell who'd won. It was really close, but I knew it wasn't me. It was either Hector or Darren. I won, I won, Darren was screaming like he'd won a gold medal at the Olympics or something. Hector, the new kid, didn't say anything. No, you didn't, Tommy yelled. The new kid won. He bumped into me, Darren said. You were bumping into him, I said. You were trying to block him the whole way. Wasn't he blocking you, Hector? Hector, the new kid, just shrugged. It was a tie, someone shouted. Race again. Yeah, everyone said. Do over. Race again. There was no way to figure out who'd really won. It was too close. And since Darren was being so bossy, no one wanted to argue with him. Okay, said Tommy. Everyone, line up again. Go ahead, Charlie. You too. Darren and Hector jogged back to the starting line to get ready. I wasn't really sure if I should race at all. The tie was between Hector and Darren. Hurry up, Charlie, Tommy said, get in line. I headed back across the blacktop, but before I reached the other side, I heard a whistle. Everybody inside, Mrs. Burke called. But we're having a race, Tommy yelled. Inside now, race is over, Mrs. Burke said, snapping her exploding fingers and pointing at Tommy. You can race back to the door. Forget it, Tommy, I said. There's no point in arguing with Mrs. Burke. I see what you mean, he answered. Tomorrow, Darren said, I'll beat you and the new kid. I glanced over at Hector. He took his glasses out of his pocket, cleaned them off so he could put them on again. I wasn't sure, but it looked like he was smiling.